Hi everybody, welcome down to Carsters Golf. Welcome to Jumeirah Golf Estates. In the height of summer, it's a very, very warm day. Just even setting the cameras up today, I'm already sweating. The temperature, 45 degrees. Humidity today, actually not too bad. So that's what's given me the opportunity to come out and do some filming. When that humidity ramps up, we are looking kind of mid fifties and it's almost, well, no, not almost. It is pretty much impossible to be out here filming. So that is a little bit as to why my content has been a little bit more sporadic over the past month or so. But moving on from there, I'm going to go back into a video today all about the golf lessons that I'm giving down here at the academy and also trying to help you guys relate to your own golf swings. Now, today's video is something I do a lot of whilst I am here coaching and it's takeaway. Takeaway is a key area of the, of the swing because it kind of sets up what you're gonna do for the rest of your backswing. So for example, if I'm a golfer that gets the club, what I would say too flat or too much on the inside, the chances of the club now being on plane for the rest of the swing are quite slim. You're gonna to have to make a quite a big manipulation during the downswing just to get the club back into position. So as the club's coming back here, the club naturally now is gonna work much more up your back and we'll get a lot of golfers in this position or in this position and on the way down. Because the club is working up your back, the momentum of the swing is always going to be moving forwards. If you think of the golf swing as a circle, as the club is effectively going, what I would say, up your spine angle, up your back, your shoulder movements are gonna be in a circular motion forward. So it is key that we try and make this takeaway as neutral as possible. And I've got a really good tip for that for today. To start with, we want your hands working equally during the takeaway, okay? We want both hands to work together. We don't want one hand dominant, particularly on the takeaway, or even just in the whole golf swing in general. They need to be working together. So we call this drill equal opposites, okay? So the hands are gonna be working equally against each other. And by them working against each other, it helps us keep the club neutral. First things first, the club, as it starts to come away, if, I, if I'm just left hand, for right-handed golfers, if I'm just left hand dominant, and I start to take this club away, you'll start to see the left wrist rolls the club on the inside. Now, I'm not saying it's always gonna be open, but you could certainly be in this position as well, okay? But if we look at where that shaft is pointing in relation to target, or in relation to the alignment stick on the ground, it's not at the same angle. We wanna try and get this club parallel to the alignment stick on the ground, okay? So if I'm left hand dominant, club goes in there. If I'm right hand dominant, club goes out here, okay? So what we're gonna try and do is get the club into this position by allowing this left hand to start to hinge. It's gonna hinge this way, but we're gonna make sure the right hand is hinging against it. So we're gonna be turning the left hand this way, but the right hand the opposite way, okay? So equal opposites. As my left hand is starting to move away, the right hand is gonna even it out. So my right hand is gonna move to the left. My left hand is gonna move to the right. This is therefore going to encourage the club to start to hinge. We're gonna try and get into this position, okay? So left hand is moving in the left, right hand is moving against it, and that's what's gonna keep my club hinged, my wrist angle neutral, and my sh the shaft of my club neutral. So we're not allowing the left hand to get strong or the right hand to be dominant. The hands are gonna to work together. So you're gonna feel like, as you're taking this club away, you're gonna feel like you're, you're turning the hands into each other, okay? That's gonna help you keep the club face neutral and allow you to hinge the wrist in the correct format because we'll always see the wrist go in the wrong direction, cupping or bowing, okay? So allowing the left wrist and the right wrist to work together gets us in this position. That then means that the club can work upwards to the top of your back swing with your wrist angles again being perfect. Then on the way down, we're just gonna release the golf swing into the back of the ball. Okay, so left hand as it comes back, we don't want that. Right hand, we don't want that. We're gonna get the hands working against each other, just like that, and then we're able to hit a shot.
Okay, so just going to head there and hit five or six balls, just kind of getting used to the movement. Yeah, some some a little bit heavy, some one one a little bit tiny thin, one was nice, but it's not about the outcome of the actual shot or the strike. This is just trying to get a feel for where the club is going to be. You'll see every time there, I managed to keep the club a little bit more in front of my body, shaft of the club a lot, lot more parallel towards the target rather than getting it too much in this side or even too much on the outside as well. So get a feel for how the hands are going to be working during the takeaway so we can use the equal opposites to keep the club neutral throughout the swing. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you hope you've enjoyed this, please do hit that subscribe button, like the video, share it with your friends if they have some dodgy takeaways. And from a very sweaty Dubai, see you soon.